Okay, guys, OCRA bio paper two, what is going on? Let's look at which topics, the high yield topics you should focus on for paper two, 2025. Make sure you get as many marks as you can. All right, let's do this. So first off, we have the grade boundaries. If any of you don't care about the grade boundaries, just skip ahead. We'll look at the topics and all that good stuff. All right, so for the last three years, you're looking at around high to mid 60s for an A star. And then you're looking around mid 50s to high 50s for an A, and then mid to high 40s for an A, uh, for a B, and then mid to uh, actually high 30s, 40 for a C. Okay. Average across the years, we've got 63, 53, 45 for A to C, A star to C. Then average of the top three, if you want to be extra harsh on yourself and make sure you go in that exam hall with absolute confidence. If you've been hitting these high 60s in your exams, should give you an A star. Um, on average, right, of the top three hardest papers. Well, I guess top three easiest papers, but the top three highest marks to achieve an A star, okay? So it depends how you wanna look at it. All right, so let's look at the topics. By far, guys, over 50%, like OCR is so much more skewed than other exam boards, okay? 51% comes from topic six, genetics, evolution, and ecosystems, okay? Next highest with about a quarter of the paper, is foundations in bio, and then after that is biodiversity, evolution, and disease. Okay, so if you want to know where to focus in terms of topics, by far it's module six or topic six. All right, let's look at the subtopics. Okay, because even though you know what topics can come up, which subtopics that's where you want to focus most of your time is on the individual subtopics, right? So, in the highest by far compared to any other. Um, paper, any other example that I've looked at is 6.2.1 cloning and biotechnology. Okay. This is partially responsible to all of the practical stuff that goes alongside this topic. So if you guys are looking at this and thinking, where the hell is topic one? I actually didn't introduce that here, but I do not include topic one because that's all the application. Um, that's all the practical stuff, right? So what I've done is I've associated all the practical questions with a specific subtopic. Okay. So that's why 6.2.1 is so high. And also they love cloning and stuff like that. Okay. So 116 marks. Okay. Out of the potential 800. Next up is patterns of inheritance. And then we have ecosystems. Okay. So the three highest topics, and then this one is joint, I guess at 72 marks come from topic six. That's why it's such a high skew towards topic six overall. And then you have disease, communicable disease, 72 marks as well manipulating genomes, biological molecules, etc. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Feel free to screenshot it. If you guys are completely new to my videos, you want to start on the ones that have the highest frequency and the highest average marks per paper. Okay, so like if you absolutely destroy cloning and biotechnology, pattern inheritance, ecosystems, etc. for the first few highest topics, maybe like half of them, right? You are going to put yourself in such a good position for the exam, even if one of them doesn't come up or comes up for low marks. Um, because it's likely that if marks are low for one topic, they're going to shift to one of the other high, high yield topics, right? Um, but equally, like something that's low, fairly low in the list, like biodiversity, with only 52 marks, it comes up every single year. And when it does, it comes up for six and a half marks on average. Okay, so it's still a decent topic. Um, so let's see what this looks like in a chart. Like how mad is this? Compare cloning and biotechnology to the rest. This is a clear winner. You want to focus plenty of your time up here, but you don't want to focus all your time up there just in case it doesn't come up this year, right? Next is around the 70s here and then dip your way down here and then keep on going. If you've got tons of time or you're extra good across the board, you're already at an A or A star, you know, you want to bang out some cramming up here and then focus down here, okay? But you can see a clear winner and then a decrease overall, okay? Now... Let's look at the trends, all right? Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Again, it does not, I repeat, it does not incorporate paper three. So what we can see last year is in my OCR predicted video, I said, focus on cloning and biotechnology because it's one of the biggest, it's the biggest topic by far, right? What did they do? They strike me down and I got, there was four marks in 2024. Okay, I don't know if this was sort of recovered in paper three. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, but even so, it still received some marks, okay? And then if you look at the topics that were lower in 2023, um, but still high on the list, like patterns of inheritance had one mark and it bumped up to eight. 
8 marks bump up to 11, 16 marks bumped up to 23, 0 marks bumped up to 18. Okay, so we can look at the highest yield topics and see where sort of things bumped around between them. So if you focus on the highest ones, you should be pretty safe to hit that A overall. Okay, like if we look at the grade boundaries, an A is 57. Okay, so again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm going to look at the graph in a second. But feel free to take a screenshot of this. If you're not too sure what COV is, this is coefficient of variation. This is just the ratio between the standard deviation and the average, okay? And it just shows variability. So variation across the years. How close was the marks when they appeared to the average, if that makes sense? Okay, so the lower the percentage, the better, the more consistent. So cloning and biotech, pretty damn consistent. Ecosystems, pretty damn consistent. What's this one right here? Classification, pretty damn consistent when you compare it with the average, okay? So let's look at the trends and think about what potentially could go up or down leading into 2025. Cloning on biotech is on a two year decline. So I think this is gonna have a rise again. We've never seen two year decline in a row. Um, we've only seen a one year decrease from 2019 to 2020 and then it bumped up again, okay? We had a peak in 2019, which is probably why it dipped so hard in 2020. All right, so I'm predicting this year cloning is going to go up. Okay, that's my thinking. All right, next up, patterns of inheritance. So, all oh, right, this one's kind of hard to say. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Like, we have up, down, up, up, down, up, up. So we've got two ups in a row, but the marks weren't crazy. I actually think this is going to go up again, but not by much. So I think it's going to either stay the same, um stay around the same, so five to six, seven marks, or it's gonna go up slightly. It's hard to say though. Uh, ecosystems, this had a two year decrease from 2020 to 2022, then the same, then an increase. So I think this is gonna go down. I think this is gonna go down this year, but not by much. I don't think it's gonna be absent or like close to zero, but I don't expect it to I don't expect it to go up again to sort of the 2020 levels. All right, I think this is going to go down. So communicable diseases, I think is going to go down. We've had two increases in a row of an absolute peak last year at like 24 marks or something like that, 23 marks. So I think this is going to go down this year. So that doesn't mean don't revise it, but I think it's going to go down. I don't think it's going to be completely absent, but it's not going to be like a key entire question 20 or something like that you know it's not going to be a crazy amount of marks manipulating the genome i think this one is called yeah manipulating genomes so this had a big big increase from 23 to 24 we had from 2017 to 2020 from 2017 to 2020 we had a three-year decrease increase decrease decrease increase i think it's going to go down guys i don't think we're going to have another increase particularly beyond the peak in 2024. So I think this is gonna go down slightly. Um, will it drop drastically to near zero? I don't think so. I think we're gonna have a similar pattern to here where it's like a gradual decrease. Now we're in the new spec of OCR or new specs, barely changed, let's be honest. Biological membranes, I think it's gonna go up. Look, we can see that two year decrease down to zero completely in 2024. If anything, you'll get some cheeky MCQs on this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go up this year classification um classification i think it's going to go up going to get a little bit of a a little bit of an increase maybe something like the 2020 to 2021 range something in there that's my thinking there so we had an up up down static up down up i think this is going to go around the same um marks actually i think it's going to be in the 5 to 8 ish probably the 5 mark band that's what i'm sort of thinking Population is going to go up this year. You can sort of see a zero last year, but you never see two zeros in a row. So there's going to be some sort of populations present. Cell division, we had a huge increase in 2024 and an increase in 2023. I don't expect this to go up again. I expect this to go down um, into the lower mark range. So maybe completely absent or in like the five-ish mark, five to four mark range. That's my thinking there. Maybe some from MCQs. Biological membranes, I think this is. So we had a little bit in 2024. Down, up, down, up, down, up, up. I think there's potential for this one to go up to like the 10 mark range, but it's it's really hard to say. It hasn't been there since 2021. So there's definitely a chance that this shoots up to around the 10 marks. 
um, which would be interesting to see. So I think that could potentially happen. I don't think this will be absent entirely, although it was absent in 2018 and 2020 and 2022. So there is it actually, okay, this is hard to say. Biological membranes could be completely absent because we haven't had a zero year for a couple of years or it could shoot up to around the 10 marks. So I would personally revise it. You never know, it might not come up at all, but I think it's worth revising this slightly because it's an easy year 12 topic, right? Nucleotides, I think it's going to go up. I think it's going to go up. I think nucleotides is going to go up slightly. And then these last few ones don't really matter. So I'll just scroll through so you guys can see it. Enzymes, I think it's going to go up this year, actually. We had a mad year in 2023 for enzymes. Look at that, 16, 17, 18 marks. I can't even quite tell, um, which is crazy. I don't expect it to go that high again, but I do expect it to increase. It may only increase around this range, so like two to five, six, seven marks, uh, two to five marks maybe. Um, but it, I'm pretty sure enzymes will be present this year. Cell structure, there you go. Nothing too much going on. All right. So I hope this helps you guys. I know the exam's only a couple of days away. Best of luck. Peace.